In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sticker designs like these in Canva. And also, at the end of this video, I'll share a bonus website where you can download unlimited sticker designs that you can actually sell commercially with no restrictions at all. All right, let's jump straight into the video. Head over to Canva. I've shared the link in the description, or you can simply type canva.com in your browser. Now, on the left-hand corner, click on Create and scroll to the bottom where it says Custom Size. Click on that. We're going to set the dimensions to 8.5 inches in width and 11 inches in height. Make sure you choose inches from the drop-down menu of units. We're using inches because the designs we'll be creating will be high resolution, perfect for printing. Now click Create New Design. A new window will pop up. This is where we'll actually make our stickers. Since we're going to add white borders around the stickers, it's a good idea to change the background color to something dark, just so the white outline is more visible. Now head over to the Elements tab on the left sidebar. In the search bar, type in the element you want to turn into a sticker. I'll search for flower. You'll see a bunch of categories like graphics, photos, frames, and more. We need to focus on graphics. To see more options, click See All. Now keep in mind, we're using the free version of Canva. Any element with a crown icon is part of the pro version. You can upgrade if you want access to more features, but for this video, we'll stick with free options. I'll go with this flower right here. Once I click it, Canva shows some magic recommendations based on my choice. But for now, let's keep it simple. Click the flower to place it on the canvas. You can use the corner handles to resize it. Now, if you want to change the color, Click on the element and you'll see color options at the top. You can even click the color wheel to create custom colors that match your vibe. Next, let's add a border or outline to our sticker. With the element selected, go to the top and click Edit. Then click Effects and choose Shadow. Now under Shadow, click on Outline. Two more options will show up, one for color and one for thickness. Change the color to white and adjust the thickness using the slider until it looks just right. All right, let's add some text to go along with the sticker. Click on text from the left sidebar and then select add a text box. Type something fun. I'll go with this flower is for you. Resize the text. Now, highlight the text and go to the font section to pick something cute and playful. Change the color if you like and place it near your sticker. To make it pop even more, let's add a white background behind the text. With the text selected, click Effects. Change the background color to white. You can also round the corners and adjust the padding to make it look more sticker-like. Want to get creative? Scroll a bit more and use the curve option. This will bend your text. Drag the slider to the left or right until it fits your design perfectly. Once your text and sticker look good, select both by clicking and dragging over them, then click Group. This way, they move together as one sticker. Now repeat the same process to create more stickers. I'll go ahead and quickly add a few more to show you how easy it is. Once you're happy with your sticker sheet, it's time to remove the background. There are two ways to do it. The first method, if you have Canva Pro, is to go to Share, Download, and check Transparent Background. But if you're on the free version, no worries. Download your design with the gray background, then head over to Remove.bg. Upload your sticker sheet there and it will automatically remove the background for you. All right, now let's talk about the bonus I mentioned earlier. 
There's a website I personally recommend, and I've linked it in the description. It gives you access to unlimited designs, including PNGs, cartoons, backgrounds, mock-ups, patterns, and so much more. These are commercial use ready, so you can sell what you create without worrying about licenses. All right, if you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, drop your thoughts in the comments below. It really motivates me to bring more helpful videos like this.